Hey friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take SQL results from SSMS and take them and pass them into an Excel file. Let's get to it. Hello, my name is Austin Leibel and I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works and we do training on the Power Platform, on Azure, as well as SQL. One of the things I really like to do with SQL is take the results and load them into a different store, right? I want to load them into a data lake or I want to load them into a CSV file. But maybe you have a lot of people in your organization who are using Excel and you want to provide your SQL results to them. Well, what you can do is you can use an SSMS tool called a wizard to be able to export a SQL script or a set of tables and views into an Excel file. And it's pretty easy to do. Let me show you how to do it and then we'll uh, kind of wrap up after that. So in order to make this happen, you are going to need access to a database that you can go and actually export the results from. So you are going to need to be able to log into SSMS inside of a SQL Server database. Once you are logged in, you can either author a SQL script, as you can see I have done right here, to be able to return some results. This essentially will allow me to go in, it will allow me to execute a SQL script, and it is going to do a pivot with a couple of joins to be able to get my results into this right here. Now these results that I have inside of my SSMS window are great. They can be very useful, can be very beneficial, but if I wanted someone to be able to manipulate these results or to be able to do some sort of analysis with this, I would need to allow them the connection or to be able to go and access this so they might need to know SQL. But instead, if they are just wanting to work with Excel with this set of data, I can just provide that to them very easily. Now how this works is I can go over to my Object Explorer in SSMS and I can right click on my database that I want to connect to. So I'm going to right click on my AdventureWorks sample database and I'm going to go down to the tasks options here. And then at the very bottom of task, there is an option that says export data. Let's go ahead and click on that now. It's going to open up this nice little SQL Server import and export wizard. Now, if you're familiar with SQL Server integration services or SSIS, this might seem a little bit familiar to you with how to take results and pass them. Uh, but this is a very easy way to do so from a graphical user interface and be able to quickly do something as a one time operation potentially. So we're going to go through and run through this wizard very quickly. I'm going to click next here. The first thing we're going to need is our data source. So where is our data coming from? So at the bottom of this list here, there's going to be one called the SQL Server Native Client. That's what I'm going to select here. I'm logged into the Pragmatic Works Public Azure SQL Database, so I'm going to need some sort of username and password to be able to get that. I'll go ahead and insert those things for myself now. I'm connecting to the database AdventureWorks. Once I get all those authentication pieces squared away, I can go ahead and say next. And then I also need a destination. Now this screen looks very similar, but notice here it does say destination as a part of that. So what am I going to be sending this to? I'm going to be sending this to again in Microsoft Excel file. So when I select this, I really just need to author a few things. I need to go through and I need to have what version of Excel I want to send this to and also where do I want to load this to as well. So I'm just going to go and browse and load this directly to my desktop on my computer so I can easily find it. I'm going to call this most recent orders. All right, I'm going to open that. That's just going to give me my file path to where I want to load these things to. So once we have that, first row has column names, all those kind of things we want to make sure are squared away. We can go ahead and say next. And then from here, we have the option to either copy data from one or more tables or views to be able to do like some joins essentially with the graphical user interface and have that populate for us. Or what I would potentially do is go and write a query to specify the transfer of data. I want to take my query that I just authored here and I want to insert it into the wizard and allow that to be my source and just get the curated data, the data that my analyst in Excel need to be able to go through and analyze that. So write a query, I'm going to say next. 
And then I just need to provide my SQL statement. So I'm gonna go through, again, very quickly, just highlight this out, go and get my results and place them into my window here. So again, what this is gonna be doing, it's gonna be selecting everything from a subquery that I have authored here as my source subquery. And then I'm gonna be pivoting this data to get all the data lined up and make individual column names uh, for the different years. And again, this is typically how you might see an Excel file spread out. So I have my query here, I'm just gonna say next. And then I have my tables and views, but I'm gonna check to choose my query for this part right here. I can edit mappings potentially, but we're not gonna to get too in depth with this for that. Just wanna show you the user, user interface and functionality of a pretty cool uh, tool. Uh, so we're gonna make sure that all of our data mappings look good. Everything coming from the source, we're in SQL, is going to match up correctly to the destination. So we have decimal, a long text there for the Excel file. Then I'm gonna say next one more time. I do have the ability to save this as an SSIS package, which is kind of, again, what we're doing here using some sort of uh, integration tool to take data and move it somewhere else. But I'm just gonna choose the run immediately option to be able to go and execute this, again, just as a one-time operation. Now I click next, you notice you can click finish here, but this is just going to give us an overview of everything that is going to happen as a part of this. And then from there, we can go ahead and say finish. That's going to take just a few moments. We're not dealing with a lot of data here, but if you were, it would take a little bit longer, right? But everything was successful as a part of this execution. So I can go ahead and close that out. And then let's go and view our results here. So I'm gonna pull this over to my uh, desktop, open up my Excel file. There it is, most recent orders, just created a few moments ago. I'll go ahead and open that up. And then there I have it. My data has now been inserted into Excel. I could potentially do some data cleansing here and uh, some manipulation if I wanted to, or I could just hand this directly over to my analyst to be able to go through and work with this tool. Uh, so very, very cool functionality. Hopefully you find this extremely useful. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to continue to get some of the great Pragmatic Works content that we have available. Uh, if you enjoyed this one as well, definitely check out maybe some of our boot camps or on-demand learning classes that we offer on how to go through and do a lot of other tips like and tricks like this. So Hopefully you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.